Hello, my friends. It's February 2nd, 2019. It is Saturday afternoon, and I hope it is warmer where you're at. It was about 10 degrees when I woke up this morning, and it was freezing, and I had a few driveways to shovel. It was dark, and it was cold, but I soldiered on, and I got her done. Well, I wish the video I was going to make today is a bit more lighter. What I mean by that is something more enjoyable, but sadly, it's not. It seems like I'm going to have to bring something else now that uh, and talk about something else that I'm finding more and more of on the internet today and especially on YouTube and Facebook. And that, my friends, are these people that are playing with the devil. And what I mean by that is these people that have these channels that do these ghost hunting and they talk to these ghosts via EV uh, boxes and spirit boxes and they play with the Ouija boards and they have seances in these abandoned factories and these abandoned prisons and these abandoned mental institutes. They go there with their, their cameras and, and, and they, they, they try to talk to the dead. Well, the Bible tells us that we are not to fool with familiar spirits. Now, a familiar spirit is just what it is. It's not something from God. It is a demonic presence. It is a demonic demon, a spirit, a, a, a devil, whatever you whatever you want to call it in that, in that vernacular. It is not something you need to be fooling with. The Bible has so many scriptures on this very subject. I'm going to read just a, just a couple to you, and I'm going to talk to you about this. Leviticus 19.31, Old Testament, Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Isaiah 8, 19, And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God? For the living to the dead, and once more, Isaiah 19.3, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. Now, of course, the Bible uses the term wizard. That's not something that's usually used today, unless you're like into some kind of Harry Potter uh, J.K. Rowling type of thing, you know, um, but what they're basically talking about is they're talking about mediums, somebody that, uh, you know, uses the occult to speak to the dead or to, to foretell your future, you know, psychics is another one, palm readers, we, we see them everywhere, especially in big cities. Uh, you know, they got Madam this and Madam so-and-so will read your, read your, uh, their fortune tellers, you know, tarot cards, all of this stuff. And, and they deal, you know, some of it is real, my friends. Some of it's a, a scam, of course, but some of it is real, very real. Do not fool with these things. What I see now on the internet, on this actual platform of YouTube, is there's so many of these younger people that think this is cool. They start a channel about abandoning and, and, and ghost hunting, uh, uh, exploring these abandoned places, and, and they bring Ouija boards with them, and they try to speak to the dead, and of course they're videoing it for their channel. Some of it's hogwash, some of it they make up to try to, you know, they, uh, they, they it's, it's fake, but there's a lot of it that it's not fake, and they are talking to demonic spirits. And they may come through as their grandmother, and they may say, "I'm your 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 uncle Jimmy Joe Bob from you know blah blah blah." But what it is is it is a familiar spirit. It is is it a demonic spirit? All right. I've said this so many times. If it isn't from the Lord, if it isn't from Jesus, then there's only one other place it can be. It's from the devil, and and that is so true. But you have today a plethora of these sites that are on the internet, these ghost hunting sites, they even have them on television now, popular TV series where they, they go and, and they ghost hunt and, and they bring these spirit boxes with them and they talk to the dead. Again, some of it might be Hollywood, you know, CG, uh, CGI stuff, fake, 
but not all of it. I mean, there is people out there that actually can contact the dead, and I'm going to tell you what, it is something you need to stay as far away from as you most possibly can can. Look at it this way. Would you stay in a house if it was on fire? No, you would run as far as you can to get to safety. Well, this is the same exact thing. If this is introduced into your 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 group of friends or, or, or your children are fooling with these Ouija boards or these type of things, get it out of your house. Get away from it because no good will come from it. I promise you, no good will come from this stuff. You know, you, you, you might laugh and say, oh, you're, you know, you're older, you're, you don't know what you're talking about, that we're just having fun. Yeah, you know what, I am older, but I can tell you this, I've seen some things, okay, and I know that it's true. I know also that it's true because the Bible tells me that it's true, all right, and that Bible is nothing but 100% truth, all right, so that's really all I need. I'm going to tell you a quick story before I sign off. I had a friend, still do, uh, he's a bit older than me, about 10 years older than me. I'd just gotten out of the military, and uh, we were kind of hanging out one night, and he said to me, uh, he was going to go to this guy, I didn't personally know him, I knew of him, everybody kind of knew him in our town, that the hip crowd, whatever you want to call it, and this guy did seances, you know, he did this type of thing, and you know, I knew better. I told him, don't go, you know, you're, you're fooling with stuff you ain't, you aren't not be fooling with, you don't, don't, you know, and, and I, I want nothing to do with it, I, I wasn't even in church at the time, but I was raised in church, and I knew, you don't fool with that stuff, you just don't fool with it, so anyways, he went, and they had a seance, and I'm going to say about an hour and a half later, he come banging at my door, out of breath, scared out of his mind. And I look, I took one look at him, and I knew something had happened. And I told him, you should not be fooling with that stuff. Boy, I told you. I told you. He come in the house and proceeded to tell me what had happened. They went up in this guy's attic. And remember, this guy was kind of known in, in our town. Now, this is back in like 1990, 1991, so I don't even know if this guy's even on this earth anymore, but anyways, he was kind of popular with the younger crowd back in them days, as it seems like these kind of people are, it's sad, but it's true, and he told me they went up in his attic, he had a three-story, uh, like a townhome type thing, but it was an older one made of brick, and he had blackened out the windows, and he said the only thing in this was a big table, it was just a round table, maybe three, four foot by three or four foot, so they could stand around it, and they had a Ouija board in the middle, and of course he had a few candles burning, and he proceeds to tell me that the guy starts a seance, he says it's pitch black other than a couple candles burning, and he starts doing something with the Ouija board, this, that, and the other, and he's asking, you know, these spirits to come manifest themselves, make themselves known, da 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 da, -da. and he told me, he said, David, it was a, just, a, just a short few minutes later, he said, that table, he said nobody's hands were on it, and he said no, there was nothing underneath of it, meaning nothing to push. He said that table rose up to my head, to our head level. And he said when I saw that thing levitating, and I knew there was no strings, there was nothing underneath of that table, because I was there before anything had happened. I saw, it was just, a, just there was nothing. He said when I saw that, he said I was scared completely out of my mind, and he said I boogied down them steps, Three flights, boom, 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 and out the front door and boogied down to my house. And there he was at my front door, out of breath and scared out of his mind. It looked like he had saw a ghost, and in essence, he probably did. He should not have been fooling with that stuff. That stuff is not to be fooled with. If your kids have Ouija boards and you think it's just a toy or it's just a game, I'm telling you right now, get that stuff out of your house Get it out of your house now. Don't play with that garbage. Don't play with it. It's not a game. It might be made by Milton Bradley or the Parker Brothers that makes Monopoly. I don't know who makes the Ouija board, but it's made by a game company, I imagine. And it doesn't matter. That thing ought not to be fooled with. Same thing with these spirit boxes that you can buy 
I believe on on the internet, any Amazon, anywhere. I imagine, I guess, because uh, it seems like so many of them on television all have these things. So I imagine they're somewhere pretty easy to buy them. Don't, don't fool with that stuff. It's not something you need to be playing with. And I don't mean to keep reiterating myself over and over and over and sound like a broken record, but sometimes the only way you can get something into somebody's skull is just to pound it verbally into their brain and let them know this is something you are not to be fooling with. Don't, don't have an experience like my friend. I mean, that bothered him for years. I remember three, four years later, he was still bothered by that. And he probably is to this day. I haven't spoke to him in a few years, probably two years, but I'm sure of it. People, please, please, if you've ever heeded anything that I've ever said on my channel, if you've ever, ever taken anything I said, seriously, I'm telling you this, take this seriously. Don't mess with things you ought not to be fooling with. And this is something you ought not to be fooling with. Do not play with this because you're playing with the devil. And I promise you, he will win every time. He will win every time. Jesus Christ is your only answer. That's it. Nobody else. Christ is your only answer. So that being said... Take heed, please. Stay off the internet fooling with that junk. Don't go looking into that or, or, or any of that because you, you just don't want to be fooling with that, that, that stuff because it is real. It truly, truly is real. And you can truly get hurt by it. Really bad. Take care of yourselves. God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful Saturday evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.